Does stretching prevent injuries? Blanket statements like this lack context and clarity, so there are a few things that we have to break down here. First off, we can never fully prevent injuries. Injuries are a part of life. We might be involved in an accident, experience an unforeseen trauma, or step off the curb the wrong way. In terms of stretching preventing injury, we also need to define the type of injury, the specific stretching intervention being applied, and the outcomes being measured. Most research investigates the effects of stretching on musculoskeletal injuries, and really is mixed in terms of stretching's role at preventing injury. Also keep in mind that injuries are multifactorial. So what do we currently know about stretching from the research and injuries? Well, let's take a look at some of the work of David Bem. In this paper, which is a systematic review of stretching, including injury incidents, static stretching and PNF type stretching had no overall effect on all cause or overuse injuries such as shin splints and tendinopathies. There is some evidence suggesting that stretching reduces acute muscle injuries like hamstring strains in sports such as sprinting that involve repetitive contractions. However, stretching does not prevent all injuries. All-cause injury rates, or the total number of injuries of any kind, be it muscle, tendon, bone, ligament, etc., demonstrated no clear benefit and no consistent ability to reduce overall injury rates. Additionally, there were four randomized control trials examined here that showed no benefit of stretching and reducing ankle sprains. Now, in this more recent review by BEM, dynamic stretching was examined, which involves more dynamic movement through a full range of motion versus static stretching, where you just get into a position of stretch and hold it. So the overall conclusion is that the research and findings on stretching and injury prevention are inconsistent and conflicting, and more evidence is needed to support this bold claim that stretching prevents injuries and validate its benefits. So what does all of this mean? It means that there are better ways to prevent injury than stretching. The evidence does not support this blanket statement. Stretching alone is not sufficient enough. However, there are no negative effects on stretching and injury risk. So combining stretching with other warm-up strategies like sport-specific dynamic movements seems most beneficial. So I hope this was helpful. Drop any comments and questions that you have below.